situated along DL Umali Freedom Park in UPLB is the Ginhawa Craft Studio where one can find the beautiful artworks of Yvette Ko. Since she was eight, Yvette was raised around graphic designers and was exposed to the founders of Saling Pusa, an art group based in UP Diliman. She enrolled in several workshops conducted by art master Fernando Sena and later on studied interior design as a course in UP Diliman. She also took classes in color theory and principles of design in the Philippine School of Interior Design. Her works are figurative and created in relief using mixed media. I'm Yvette Ko. I'm an artist and I'm a sculptor and painter. I live here in Los Baños where there's a lot of nature to see and also a lot of excess materials that I get inspi inspired to use for my artworks. I started because my parents recognized my healing, healing for uh, doing detailed things like uh, creating cards or creating paintings. I was so fortunate to be, you know, to be exposed to the early members of Saling Pusa from UP. So I'm a believer that artists are made because I didn't start out as a as the pinakamagaling magdrawing sa batch type. I learned a few doodles from my brother and I practiced a lot and I became competitive to be better than this girl, this girl, kasi po all girls school. In 2011, she was commissioned by ASEAN Center for Biodiversity and German International Cooperation to design and execute an exhibit for the UN Biodiversity Conference in India. The artwork was entitled Mother Nature and the Mangrove Garden a 25 square meter diorama about the the generation of the mangrove forest. Yvette specializes in creating branding and infographics and enjoy working and collaborating with the craftsmen in the Laguna outskirts. To date, she continues to do commissioned works for the community, engages in workshops in painting and sculpture, and doubles in environmental art. Uh, the Yvette Co trademark would be Soft lines, that's the first thing that I think of. Yeah. I use oil paint and metal. I love twisting metal. Oh, the greatest achievement always is, aside from putting, putting up this cafe, um, uh, it's Tanai in the 16 foot tree. So the College of Forestry collaborated with me to work on a 400-year-old dead tree in Tanay, in Parroquia de Tanay. Me and a team of 12 people from Paete, so we were commissioned to design and work on that piece for two months, roughly two months po. So it's, it's there now, we're happy it's become a tourist spot there in Tanay Rizal. The artwork, we called it Pamana sa Tanay. Hane. Yun yung expression na dun, hane. <laughs> I want to be remembered as an artist, being a um, good collaborator, Yun. being very generous with my talents, tapos also taking care of every output. We'll get to know more of Los Baños visual artists as we get to know more about a well-known sculptor when my city, my SM, my art returns.